The European Union has set the UK the target to produce 15% of its electricity from renewable sources by 2020. Infinis is making a major contribution to the drive towards this target, producing more than 10% of this power. In 2006, it was a modest landfill gas business, newly demerged from the waste management company WRG. Under terra firma, Infinis has produced more electricity from landfill gas each year through steady investment in plant and process improvements. It's also acquired other landfill gas sites and diversified into onshore wind and hydropower. Together, these renewable sources give Infinis an installed capacity of 534 megawatts, enough to provide power to over 1 million consumers. We have today what is a quite unique combination of a highly cash flow generative growth platform in the renewable industry. On the landfill gas side, we've continued to grow the business both through output growth as well as through a well-executed commercial strategy. And we've done that in combination with a very sound health and safety record. Secondly, one of the key milestones in the past two years was the acquisition of Nevera. Thanks to that acquisition, we have not only strengthened our landfill gas business, but we've also, for the first time, started managing wind assets and small-scale hydro assets. And thirdly, that gave us access to a much more mature wind development team. Of Infinis installed capacity of 534 megawatts, landfill gas accounts for 64%, but onshore wind is making a growing contribution. pre Navira, the Infinis uh, development business was um, quite early stage, a uh, good pipeline, but some four to five years away from uh, maturity and construction. The Navira business was some five years ahead, so immediately we had projects that we could, that were consented and that we could put into construction. And we have one of those sites about to be commissioned this year, a site called Glen Kiri. So we followed the Navira acquisition quite swiftly with the purchase of four other large wind farms from a major utility in the UK. We now have one of the largest operating um, platforms, wind platforms in the UK, and behind that very strong consented portfolio which we're looking to build out. We can show that we can work in the high planning risk area of wind farm consents um, and also in terms of attracting new landowners to us in terms of, of growing the pipeline, we're, we're making great progress there. So we have the credibility and the track record when we go head to head with, with new entrants who might be prepared to offer better financial terms but, but, but can't demonstrate that they can actually bring a project through to planning permission and build it out. And I think our track record speaks very highly on that uh, and is and he's, he's serving us well in our negotiations. The hydro division is the smallest part of the business, with its 10 sites acquired from Nevera. But here too, there are developments in the pipeline, with a dozen projects under review in Wales and Scotland. Across these divisions, Infinis now has 140 generating sites in the UK. All this capacity is continuously monitored here at its logistics centre in Northampton, a major investment in optimising the performance of the business. This technology platform enables Infinis to keep adding more generating sites and means that even the smallest renewable energy projects can be run efficiently. A successful refinancing in December 2009 means that funds are available for continued expansion. We have worked closely together with Terra Firma over the past few years to build very strong foundations, whether operationally, commercially or strategically. And we are very eager to make our marks in what is undoubtedly one of the most exciting growth markets of the coming decade.